Today we're gonna prepare wraps for the delicious way. Hello everybody, I'm Paulina and welcome to Metanel Pao's Food. Here you can find delicious and healthy and vegan recipe. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, pressing the red button and the bell if you want to receive notification every time I upload a new video. So today we're gonna prepare four delicious wraps. I love to make wraps because they are easy, simple and really quickly to make. Uh, especially those days that you are tired of time or you don't want to prepare a fancy meal. So without further ado, let's go with the recipes. <laughs> okay, first of all, I like to prepare the dough, but if you want to make or prepare your wraps with the pre-made wraps, tortillas, don't worry, just buy some of them, but I prefer to make my own tortillas. So, so for the dough, in a bowl, we're gonna add 200 grams of flour of your choice. You can put some uh, gluten-free uh, flour if you want to. To that, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of baking powder. In a separate bowl, we're gonna put 100 milliliters of a warm water. To this, we're gonna add a pinch of salt. We're gonna combine the two ingredients and we're gonna mix together until we have a consistent bowl of dough. We're gonna let it rest for at least an hour. When the time passed, we're gonna cut the dough in four equal pieces. You can weight the dough if you want to be more specific or exactly in the measure that you do, but I prefer to do it, just cut it in similar pieces. With a roller, we're gonna roll the dough until it's 20 meters long. I prefer to make it square because for me, it's more easy to wrap it up later, but if you want to make it round, that's your choice, don't worry. When the tortillas are the size you want, is the time to cook them. We're gonna put a pan big enough to uh, place our tortilla on it. If you don't have a pan big enough, don't worry, you can do it in the oven. You have to preheat the oven around 100 and 180 uh, Celsius degrees. And we're gonna place a tortilla at the oven or in the pan for around one to two minutes to heat it up for one side and then we are going to turn around and we're going to cook it for the other side to one to two minutes. The time of cooking it will depend on the heat of you preparing uh, in the oven or the pan so make sure that don't burn it up. It, you, we, we don't want it uh, toasted, complete, completely toasted, we want it just uh, a, quite a, a clear golden color, okay? Repeat this method to all the tortillas that you have and with that we are ready to make our wraps. For the first wrap we're gonna prepare a paprika chickpea guacamole wrap. So in a tortilla we're gonna put some slice of cucumber, to that we're gonna add one or two tablespoons of guacamole. The guacamole we're gonna do is the version that we do it in my country, if you do a different version, go ahead, do it the one you know, but in my country we do it this way. In a bowl, we put some avocado and we smash it with a fork. To that, we're gonna add some cut tomatoes, red onion and minced garlic. We're gonna season with a pinch of salt and pepper, a splash of uh, olive oil and a bit of lemon juice for prevent oxidation. We're gonna stir everything to mix it up and we are ready with our guacamole. So to that, we're gonna put one or two tablespoons of paprika chickpea. For the paprika chickpea, we're gonna put some cooked chickpea in a pan and then we're gonna season with some small paprika. We're gonna toast it for a while until they are a bit crispy and that's it. It's really, really simple. I really like to make this version of chickpeas because I found it really bored if you put it just like that and with this you're gonna give it a really taste twist of it. 
top. When we have our guacamole and chickpea ready, we just have to put one or two tablespoons of rice of your choice. I prefer basmati because that's the one I like it, but if you want to whole rice or another version, go ahead, doesn't matter. And when we're ready, we just have to close our wrap and we are ready to enjoy. For our second version, we're gonna do a hummus wrap. I like this one because hummus give you a really nutrient and a good source of protein. So, in a tortilla, we're gonna put a big tablespoon of hummus. To that, we're gonna add some saute mushroom. For the mushroom, we're gonna put it in a pan and we're gonna saute with a bit of with a pinch of salt for a couple of minutes. When the mushroom are ready, we just have to put it on top of the hummus and we're gonna add some lettuce, a slice of radish and a strip of carrot. We close her up and we are ready to enjoy. For this third version, we're gonna do more a more traditional version of wrap because it's gonna be black bean guacamole rice wrap. <laughs> so in this third version, we're gonna put a tortilla and we're gonna add one to two tablespoons of guacamole, the one we prepared before. And to that, we're gonna add some black beans. Cook it, of course. Add also a one to two tablespoons of rice and some lettuce. We roll it up and we are ready to enjoy. For our last version of wrap, we're gonna prepare a red lentil wrap. For our last version, in a tortilla, we're gonna put in the base some mustard. After that, we're gonna add to one to two tablespoons of red, a cooked red lentil, a slice of radish, some strip of carrot, and some lettuce. We're gonna wrap it up and we are ready to enjoy. like these four version of wraps they are so easy and quickly to make I will I like to serve it with some french fries I have a link over here if you want to know how I do my french fries because I don't fry it I put it in the oven they are really really good and the combination of wraps and french fries I really really love it hope you like these wraps comment below which one you like it most for this and more delicious recipe, don't forget to visit the site of Pao's Food. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it if you want to, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, pressing the button around here, and the bell if you want to receive notification every time I upload a new video. See you in the next one! Bye!